We all know that size doesn't matter, at least not in most cases. In the animal kingdom, it sure does hell. <laughs> You can't expect a sloth to take on a lion, that's for sure. But from a dog taking on lions to a chicken fighting an eagle, here are 15 times animals proved size doesn't matter. Number 15. Mongoose fends off lions. Mongoose versus four lions. There's a clear winner in this fight, right? There's no way a mongoose would come out triumphant when four scrappy lions are involved. Believe it or not, a mongoose actually stands more of a chance than you think. Well, at least this brave one did. In 2011, photographer Jerome Guillaumat stumbled across four young lions in the Maasai Mara National Park in Kenya. They were surrounding a marsh mongoose that looked quite terrified by the situation. But rather than give up and be eaten, the mongoose found his voice. Literally. He screamed at the lions, lunged at them, and chased them. Then, when the lions chased him back, he retreated into a hole before coming out guns blazing and even biting one of the lions on the nose. It's important to note that mongooses aren't exactly fair competition for lions. They only grow up to around 20 inches tall and weigh no more than six and a half pounds. Still, if their terrifying scream isn't enough to make you run a mile, then it'll be the awful smell they produce and their apparent lack of fear regarding massive meat-eating creatures. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Golden Eagle vs. Siberian Wolf Very few people, or animals for that matter, would mess with a Siberian wolf. Bison tremble in their little hooves when they see one coming, and even brown bears would prefer to share their territory rather than fight them for it. The only animal that tends to fight for the alpha status is the tiger. Everything else sees the Siberian wolf as an alpha predator. Except the golden eagle. A trained golden eagle will gladly take out these wolves, and with ease. They may only weigh up to 15 pounds, but they are by no means a creature that'll let an opportunity for delicious meat pass it by. Golden Eagles are apex predators that have a wingspan reaching an impressive 7 feet. They cover areas as large as 60 miles and can be trained to become excellent wolf hunters. Now we know where that saying about having an eagle eye comes from. The goal of using golden eagles for hunting wolves and foxes is to stop them preying on indigenous people's livestock in the Central Asian plains. Only experienced Mongolian Kazakhs and Kyrgyzstanis can master the training process. Number 13. Mongoose vs. Black Mamba you might think that nothing stands in the way of a black mamba. They are one of the most feared snakes in Africa, and for good reason. They have such potent venom that they can kill an adult human in as little as seven hours. The mortality rate is nearly 100%, so it makes sense that most animals give the black mamba a wide berth. But not the mongoose. They really like to push their luck and take a no-nonsense approach to any animal that stands in their way. Oddly enough, it's not just their sassy attitude that makes them think they can take on this deadly nope rope. They really can take them on. Some mongoose species in Africa have specialized acetylcholine receptors that make them immune to snake venom. They are also quick and powerful, even more so than the black mamba. In saying that, put the mongoose in a ring with a viper or constrictor and they'll likely come off second best. They have far more speed and power than nearly any other creature we can think of, including the mongoose. Number 12. 
Rhino attacks vehicle full of tourists. Rhinos might have poor eyesight, but when they feel under attack or threatened, they go into overdrive and become quite territorial. A vehicle full of tourists found this out the hard way when a rhino in Atosha Park rammed them. They, along with another vehicle, noticed a rhino in some bushes. They reversed to get a closer look and take some photos, expecting the rhino to carry on with its business. But even though the white Toyota was much larger than the rhino, it didn't seem to care. It ran straight towards it, lifting it up before the occupants were able to drive off. The vehicle sustained some damage and there was blood on it from where the rhino must have injured itself. Fortunately, the occupants, who were from a music group in Germany, were okay. The park's guardians went to check on the rhino. According to the second vehicle's driver, no one had expected the rhino to react. They also expected it to pass between the two cars rather than charge right at them. So it goes to show that even if you're in a large metal vehicle, there's still a risk that a wild animal can get you. Number 11. Huskies versus Polar Bear A 1,200 pound polar bear is not gonna be something you wanna cross. There have been several close encounters that could have ended up with some terrible consequences. But somehow, these huskies don't seem to mind. <laughs> In the first encounter, a husky tied up attempts to attack a polar bear who is trying to grab a bite to eat. The dog barks like crazy and even tries to bite the polar bear on the nose. Fortunately for the husky, the bear doesn't seem too interested in snacking on the dog. But the second husky versus polar bear encounter went quite differently. The bear and dog appear to be making friends. The polar bear even rolls on its back and the husky jumps up to the same height as the bear. Of course, these scenarios in the wild are few and far between, but it just goes to show that even the two most unlikely animals can end up being friends. The first time the photographer published the shots, people thought it was staged and weren't too happy. But when he republished them over a decade later, people were in love with the unlikely friendship. Number 10. Ram takes on bull. Rams aren't exactly the friendliest animals on the planet, which is a shame because they're so darn cute when they're small. But when they grow up, they have a chip on their shoulders and look at everyone and everything with that come at me stare. Even seeing a bull much larger than themselves, they aren't against giving them a good go and seeing how they end up. I mean, sure, they aren't that small themselves. They grow up to around 6 feet from head to tail, and they can weigh up to about 280 pounds. But they're actually prepared to go head to head, literally, with a bull weighing up to 2,200 pounds. It doesn't make much sense. Fortunately, in this situation, it looks to be like a bit of play between pals. The ram playfully headbutts the bull, and the bull proceeds to do the same. But they then return to just peacefully coexisting aside from the odd headbutt from time to time. It just goes to show, though, that size really doesn't matter when it comes to taking on another animal. Number 9. Boar saves her baby from cheetah. You won't find too many animals that can outrun a cheetah. They can reach speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, which means they can choose any delicious animal on the menu as long as they can't run any faster than that. Or so the cheetah probably thought. Some warthog families were out with their babies, minding their own business, when the cheetah spots them. There are several families of warthogs, but the cheetah locks eyes on a mama with her four babies. The cheetah thinks, hmm, dinner. He starts stalking the family and lies down in the long grass to watch. As quick as lightning, he leaps up and starts running towards them. The baby warthogs run for their dear lives while a grown warthog is being chased at full speed by the cheetah. Just as the cheetah brings down the warthog, some other adult warthogs jump in on the action and start attacking it. They all start tussling before the cheetah realizes he's outnumbered and admits defeat. He slinks off without a snack to fill his belly. Number 8. 
Honey Badger Rescues Her Baby From Leopard Everyone knows that you don't come between a mama and her babies, both humans and animals. But who would have thought that a small honey badger could be capable of taking down a leopard? Well, all you have to do is put her baby in danger and you get to see what they're really capable of. 28-year-old guide Sahara Wolfson from Greater Kruger National Park had been eager to show some guests a leopard. They were just waiting to come across one within proximity to the lodge where they were staying. After Sahara had been alerted to a leopard near the lodge, they were able to watch from the lodge while the situation played out. The leopard started stalking a small badger, which hadn't realized the leopard was there until it was right on his backside. Within seconds, it had launched an attack with full claws and teeth, which meant the badger truly was no match for the leopard. But little did the leopard know that Mama was sitting close by. She launched an unexpected attack on the leopard, frightening it before chasing the leopard off. She then pulled her baby to safety while the leopard left, well and truly confused. He won't be in a hurry to tell his mates about that strange encounter. Number 7. Hippo vs. Lion A lioness and her cub were cruising through the Masai Mara National Reserve in Kenya when she spotted a hippo. Thinking it might be something delicious to eat, she left her baby and strolled towards the hippo, sneaking up behind it. Just as the lion starts to sniff, the hippo turned around with a lot more agility than the lion possibly thought possible. The hippo bites the lion and lifts it into the air before dropping it onto the ground. Fortunately, the lion was able to get away, but not without a big scare. Hasbro gives us a false sense of security with their Hungry Hungry Hippos board game. You think there are these large, friendly, happy creatures, but they're anything but. They're responsible for around 2,900 human deaths every year and can run 30 miles per hour. They also have huge jaws with massive teeth that can weigh up to 6 pounds each. So maybe next time, the lioness might like to start with something a little bit smaller. There's no way she could have brought down that huge, terrifying hippo all on her own. Number 6. Python Swallows Crocodile In a Python vs. Crocodile battle, we're actually not sure who we would want to win. Both are equally as terrifying, but for different reasons. Still, these are two animals that definitely prove that size doesn't matter when you're feeling a bit snackish. Kayaker Martin Muller had been cruising around Mount Issa in Queensland when he spotted an olive python chowing down on an Australian freshwater crocodile. The snake had managed to squeeze the croc to death and he was in the process of devouring him. Martin managed to catch photos of the entire process happening. Then, Australian nonprofit GG Wildlife Rescue Incorporated posted them to Facebook. The python looks like it has an elastic jaw as it manages to stretch itself over the crocodile and slowly swallow it. It then looks to disappear completely, but you can just see the tail of the crocodile poking out of its mouth. You might think that the behavior is quite absurd, but it's expected. Pythons don't really worry about size, as long as they can get something to eat. They've been known to eat goats, deer, impalas, other snakes, and even humans. Number 5. Tiger vs. Sloth Bear A mother will do everything in her power to protect her baby, and a fight between a tiger and a sloth bear is proof of that. Bamboo Forest Safari Lodge Chief Naturalist Akshay Kumar in Todoba National Park captured the footage, and it soon went viral. It all began with the tiger, which Akshay said was a dominant male called Matkasur. He noticed that a sloth bear was heading to a water hole with her cub, and he decided to chase her off. Instead of running away like she probably should have, she decided to take on the tiger. Because why not? She charges the tiger as her motherly instinct is unleashed, and quite a vicious fight ensues. 
The tiger attacks the sloth bear for about five minutes. Because, let's face it, the tiger has the upper hand here. But that wasn't the end of it. The sloth bear charges the tiger and keeps doing so to protect her cub. The tiger roared and the fight went on for around 15 minutes. Both the sloth bear and tiger were injured in the battle, but it could have also been a lot worse. Fortunately for the sloth bear, her thick fur offered a lot of protection. She was also able to keep her cubs safe from the clutches of the tiger. Number 4. Tarantula vs. Snake Great, our two favorite creatures in the world tarantulas and snakes. We're not really sure if we're rooting for either of these guys to come out on top if we're honest, but if we were to put money on it, we'd say the snake would be the clear winner. After all, snakes have pretty terrifying fangs and don't tend to be on many animals' menus. But in this case, you may be surprised to learn that the tarantula was craving snake for dinner. In 2017, scientists were left scratching their heads after a tarantula was found dining on a snake. Usually, tarantulas are quite satisfied with bugs, arachnids, and the occasional lizard or rodent if they're feeling particularly hungry. But in Brazil, a female tarantula was photographed eating a 15.3 inch long snake. Not exactly an everyday occurrence. The snake was dead when researchers stumbled across it, so it's not known whether it was already dead or if the tarantula had taken it down. It had severe damage to the middle and anterior parts of its body, which is where the spider appeared to have been snacking. We hate to think what confidence this tarantula now has. Are we next? Number 3. Black Bear vs. Cougar you might be quite curious about who would come out on top if a cougar faced off against a black bear. After all, both can be quite vicious and both can grow quite large. But as it turns out, there can be several different interactions between the two depending on the situation. For example, a young 10-month-old cub exploring the wilderness on his own comes across an equally as young black bear. The bear had just come out of hibernation for a snack and was returning to his den. But the cougar, curious about what the bear is and whether he's a predator or prey, decides to stalk the bear. He lunges at him, but the bear doesn't react. Eventually, the cougar looks like he's just playing and then saunters off without any issue. But what about a cougar with her cubs against a bear? She will do anything to protect them, which involves launching a vicious attack. If the roles were reversed, the bear would probably also do the same but she realizes it's not in her best interest and leaves the fight. Number 2. Ken Protects Her Babies As it turns out, tiny chicks can win in a fight against an eagle, but all it takes is a brave, fierce mama chicken to win the battle for them. A chicken and her many chicks were hanging out doing chicken stuff when an eagle spots them from above. The eagle launches an attack, eager for a tasty snack that doesn't take a lot of swallowing. But little did the eagle realize that the hen was going to protect her babies at all costs. She launches at the approaching eagle, and the two end up in a dusty tussle. The babies scatter to safety, and the eagle flies off to a tree. But it doesn't end there. The eagle continues to watch, waiting for his moment to strike. But the hen is waiting. She hasn't let her guard down. While she lets her chicks continue doing what they're doing, she is on high alert waiting for the eagle to come back. It's not long until the eagle does return, but is foiled again. The hen outstretches her wings and launches at the eagle, who engages her for a short time before retreating. Number 1. Brave Dog Attacks Lion it's doubtful in most situations that a dog could manage to win a fight against a lion. In saying that, it's not impossible. In the Ngorongoro crater of Tanzania, a one-minute video captured by the Indian Forest Services spread around the internet like wildfire. In the video, a dog was staring at a lion and lioness before the lioness gets up and runs towards the dog. The dog tries to scare away the lioness by barking at her, but then shifts his focus to the lion. 
The dog keeps barking at the pair until he feels safe enough to walk away. But when he notices that the lion and lioness are following him, he starts moving towards them again, lunging at the lion with a threatening bark. <laughs> Eventually, the dog was able to run away, but appeared to have a slight limp. Fortunately, the lion and lioness didn't seem to be all that interested in taking chase, even though it was apparent they would be able to take the small dog down. Score 1 to doggo, 0 to lions. It can get quite rough in the wild, especially when you're technically at the bottom of the food chain. But there are always going to be times when animals surprise you. Which animal had super strength you were not aware of? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.